This is the one minute 8020 software that you've never heard of. Now I created this in Notion and you've probably heard of Notion unless you're living under a rock, but this is a template and a solution like you've never seen before. So it's called headquarters. If I scroll down here, I can see my week. So I have nothing planned for this week, but it's not about that. We are doing an 8020 analysis. It is basically looking back and understanding what is the 20% of tasks that I'm doing that have 80% of the impact. So here I can see all of the tasks that I've done for my fake job. We've got a b testing landing page segment email list blah 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 it's all sitting in here so the problem was i was doing all of these tasks right and i was thinking wait what am i actually doing that's helping me out in life it's very difficult to know that instinctively and i thought it would be great to have a system where i can see everything that i've actually been doing so what i can do here is click on the plus add an item and i can click on monthly review if I click on that, it actually loads in here a monthly review that I can dive into to really understand this 8020 analysis. Now, before I do that, I wanna show you a cool feature that we do before the 8020 analysis. A really good way of understanding if we're doing something that's actually important is to do an Eisenhower matrix beforehand. So what I'm going to do here is just untick all of these tasks. All these tasks that you're seeing here is under the everything tab. So it's just every single task that I've done. If you ever wanna find them, they're sitting in there. So if I click on order now, these tasks haven't been done, even though they have been done. So because I unticked all of these tasks, they are sitting in the order tab. And what the order tab does, as you can see, it actually automatically organizes my task list for me. And this is using the Eisenhower matrix. So before we get to an 80-20 analysis, what we're doing is actually analyzing our tasks beforehand. This already is cutting out a bunch of junk that is truly just a time waste. So here I can see these ones here are important and urgent. My meeting with John, another meeting with John, write blog one, schedule social posts, blah, blah, blah. Then we have the not important but urgent. After that, we have the important but not urgent. And at the bottom, we have the not important and not urgent. This automatic ranking of all of my tasks helps me actually schedule out my week. Before I get to the 80-20 analysis, I don't wanna look back and think, oh dear, all I've done is tasks that are not important and not urgent. I want to ensure that I'm actually prioritizing the stuff that's important and urgent. And as you can see, I can also see the state of mind required for these tasks. So that basically just means what kind of cognitive demand is involved in that task for me to do. Realistically, your brain can't do more than four hours worth of full cognitive effort per day. So I just have a rule, two flow tasks per day, and then I have a very sustainable week where I'm not feeling burnt out. So let's click on the monthly review and have a look at that 80-20 analysis. As you can see here, this loads in, go through your task list in the past month and select any items that you may have missed in the weekly review that you think moved the needle. These are the tasks that actually made a difference in your life. So here are all the tasks that I've done in the past month. This is such a useful exercise for me to do. So looking at these, this meeting with John, you know what, it was absolutely pointless. I thought it was urgent and important. So I go through this list and I can start thinking, you know what, was this actually worth my time? Was this worth doing? This meeting with John, I had it labeled as important and urgent. But you know what? It was not moving the needle at all. It was just a waste of time, that meeting. So I know I'm not going to label this as move the needle. So I'll keep scrolling down and I'm looking and I'm seeing booking meeting room. That didn't do anything. Proofreading Jen's PowerPoint. What a waste of time. Writing blog three. That didn't help anything. But you know what? Writing blog two. That actually got us two leads for the company. This is all hypothetical, obviously. That's a really profound impact. So I'm going to change this from not important to move the needle. As you can see, it gets removed here from this list. I'll show you where it goes after. Then let's say A-B testing ads. I said that was important and not urgent. So I put it off for a while and I thought, I don't actually have to do it, it's not that urgent. But you know what? Looking at the results from A-B testing, this actually really helped and moved the needle. And you would go through all of your different tasks here to see what have I done this month that actually moved the needle. This is your 80-20 analysis. What are you doing that's having a profound impact? Now in this monthly review template here, we can do other stuff like go through the projects that we finished as well that moved the needle. Now let's say we didn't finish any projects this month. We're still going with the campaign. We're still going with the company blog. It's ongoing and uh, the meetings and the company socials, these are just no status stuff. So we don't have to change anything here to move the needle, but let's say marketing campaign, hypothetically, we finished it, we can change it from deadline to either complete if we just finished it, but it didn't actually make a big difference, 
or we can change it to move the needle if it had a profound impact and it actually changed our life or changed our business. So now it's sitting here under move the needle. At the end of the month, I also recommend doing a bottleneck review. And TikTok is sitting here, as you can see, this is from my tab method video. If you haven't watched that and you want to know how I do my weekly reviews, then click on that. But this video is about the 80-20 analysis. So let me scroll up and we go to needles this month. So this is all the stuff that I've done that's moved the needle. And we can see here, write blog post two, and we can see A-B test ads. So knowing this information, it's going to change my strategy going forward. So hypothetically, blog post two used a very different strategy to blog post one and three. So knowing that, it's going to change the way that I write my future blogs. This one here had an impact and got the company clients. So whatever the strategy was in this one, it worked. And whatever the strategy was in the other blogs, it didn't work. So I know going forward, I should make more blogs like this or A-B testing ads. I thought this wasn't something that I'm going to prioritize, but it turns out this had a profound impact on the company. Going forward, maybe I should schedule in more times to A-B test the company's ads. Knowing the stuff that's had an impact is great. That's step one. But step two is actually implementing it into your weekly schedule. So let's say blog posts and A-B testing ads. I go back to headquarters here, and then let's say hypothetically, every Friday is when I do A-B test another ad. So in here, I'll say the urgency is a habit. I do this every single week. It is important. I know that now. It requires flow state. It requires a lot of cognitive effort to do this. You know, I'm working with ads and data and metrics. So I'm going to say flow state. The bucket here is job and the project here. I'm going to create a new project called AB test ads. Click that there and now I've created a project. So then down the line when I want to see all of the different stuff to do with A-B testing ads, I just click on this project here and I can see all the tasks to do with this. I can see all of my notes, all of my bottlenecks. Everything is in the one place. It's really useful. And then I can create the other one here, which is the blog post that I do every single week. The urgency, this is a habit. The importance, it's very important. The state of mind, it is a flow state as well. And the bucket is a job. And then the project here is the existing company blog. So I add that. So what I've done here is made actionable steps with the tasks that actually mattered. My headquarters system here has everything that I need. I can see my full month. I can see my weeks. I can see my day planning with a time blocking feature. I can plan out the next day. I can even plan the day based on contexts. Down here, I have all the tasks that I haven't done yet. So task one, and it has this automatic ranking using the Eisenhower matrix. I can also select the state of mind. That way I know every single day I can only do two tasks that require flow state. This is then giving me a sustainable work life. I can scroll down, I can see all of my projects. And if I click on the project, I can see all of the relevant stuff that I need in here. Everything is connected in my workspaces. I can see all of the different information. If I click on move the needle and open this up in here, we can see all the 80, 20 analysis information. So I can see every single task that I've done in the past that has moved the needle. If you want to download this template, the link is in the description. It might just change your productivity forever. If you want to have a deeper look at all of the different features, then click on this video here. And thank you so much for watching.